Good morning. We are from Prepa Tech Campus Cumbres, and today we're going to talk about marijuana and ecstasy. Let's start with marijuana. Marijuana is a drug that comes from the cannabis plant. This plant has two main types, sativa and indica. Sativa affects the brain, and indica affects the body. But we are mainly focusing on the sativa. The sativa contains delta-9 tetrahydrocannabinol abbreviated as THC. It is a chemical that affects the brain. Marijuana is the most common illicit drug used in most countries around the world. However, this drug isn't illicit in all countries, as it's been legalized in some countries, like Uruguay. The worst part is that each day, less people think that marijuana is risky. The ways to consume this drug vary around the world. It can be hand rolled cigarettes, or through pipes, through blunts, vaporizers, and it can even be consumed on food. TCH, which is the brain to the bloodstream, and it affects the areas of movement, judgment, sensation, memory, and coordination, for just mentioning some. This drug basically overactivates these areas of the brain, causing its victim to feel high. Short-term effects include changes in mood, lack of coordination in movements, difficulty remembering things, difficulty to think, alter sense of time, and many, many others. However, with constant consumption of this drug, these effects can last for a long time or even can be permanent. This can cause also breathing problems and an increasing heart rate, which increases your risk to have a heart attack. On teenagers and children, it can cause the brain to start developing and eventually lose some of its capabilities. This drug, contrary to popular chalk, is also addictive, and there are no current medication for its addiction, though it can be treated. So authorities are being put on pressure to legalize marijuana, they don't seem to cooperate. Also, sanctions for crime related with this drug go from 10 to 25 years of prison. However, this sentence is reduced when only planting it for personal consumption. Only 37% of the population agreed to decriminalize marijuana, and roughly 32% agreed to completely legalize it. Marijuana laws and regulation have caused overpopulation in prisons since the maximum number permitted is lower than the average consumption. Marijuana used for medical purposes is completely legal, and it's legal to process less than 22 grams for personal uses. The trafficking of marijuana in this country is a big problem, and it's the cause for overpopulation in prisons, as most people that go to jail are, are there for this crime. There are many people, mainly from cities, that support the plantation of cannabis and that also propose to protect the producers in the search for peace. Marijuana is illegal and criminalized, except for medical purposes, such as people with terminal cancer. Also, permission has been given to possess marijuana in very small amounts and under strict conditions only for adults. This amount varies between states, and most of them is 6 grams, but the highest is 50 grams in Berlin. Even though a vast majority supported the legalization of marijuana for medical purposes, roughly 30% are in favor of completely legalizing it. The consumption rates are also low and are mostly aged above 18. The consumption in ages from 15 to 24 is only about 15% and roughly 5% in the population in general. Uruguay is the first and only country to completely legalize marijuana. However, its consumption and production are limited and consumers need to be registered. President Mujica said he done this because he wasn't afraid of the drug itself. He was afraid of its trafficking. Created using Powtoon.